Humans have started to use their talents, intelligence, and dreams since the earliest times. And one of the best areas that reflects the imagination of people in some gigantic structures. For example, dams. They provide power to millions, create new land for development, and help store water in reservoirs. Other than that, dams are not just concrete masses that hold water in one place. Many times, they are also impressive. Curious about our list for today, right? So, we shouldn't make you curious anymore. Here's the world's largest and most beautiful dams. Let's start with the highest and most powerful one, Hoover Dam, Nevada, USA. The Hoover Dam, located in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River on the border of Arizona and Nevada, is a massive concrete arch gravity dome whose 600-foot base is as wide as the full length of two football fields. Look at that beauty. That's insane. And such a wonderful structure was not made with new technologies. This dam was commissioned by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1935, and it sits on the border between Nevada and Arizona. A group of six companies were given the task of building the largest concrete structure in the world at the time. The project employed thousands of workers during the Great Depression, giving many people in the region a steady job over the course of construction. Apart from that, the Hoover Dam was the most expensive engineering project in the United States history at a cost of $49 million, which adjusted for inflation would be $700 million by today's standards. That's ridiculous. Well, you may ask, is the dam worth the cost? The answer is easy, guys. It's definitely worth it. The Hoover Dam was constructed in order to generate electricity as well as provide irrigation and control flooding, and today it generates around 4 billion kilowatts of electricity per year, enough to power the needs of 1.3 million people. However, as we've just said, since the dam was built in the 1930s, unfortunately it caused some deaths. 96 people died during the construction of the Hoover Dam. However, contrary to the popular urban legend, none of the deceased are encased within the dam's concrete. Yep, don't believe things like things. What a dam, right? And it's great news, guys. This is just the first dam in our video. Let's see the other dams. The Muser Baden Dam in Austria. Now it's time for one of the most beautiful dams in Europe. Look at the beautiful blue of the dam along with the greenery of nature. It's impossible not to be impressed. That's clear, right? So what are the features of this dam? How big is it? When was it built? Well, let's see. The town of Capron was the surrounding Alps is one of the famous and sought after locations. In addition, the Mursurbaden water dam is located at the Krapruner Tal Valley. They bear witness to one of the region's greatest marvels of engineering. The turbines are hidden in the mighty dam walls that keep the turquoise water in check. This is how electricity is generated all year round. Even, you can visit the interplay of nature and technology in summer on a guided tour of the dam walls or use the high mountain reservoirs as a starting point for hikers. And if you're brave enough, you can even climb the dam wall using a Via Ferretta. Apart from all this touristic income, the dam was built between 1947 and 1955 and serves to generate electricity. <sighs> I like that dam. As I like the least of one other dam, the Roseland Dam in France. Let's not get too far from Austria, shall we? Europeans do this really well. Look at that, the wonder of nature and engineering. This great dam is surrounded by the mountains. Also, Roslyn Dam is located east of the Beaufort Chamber in the Sabuc Valley in the Rhode Alps region of southeastern France. This masterpiece was built between 1955 and 1962. Then the reservoir was filled in 1960, and the plant has been in operation since 1961. The main purpose is to produce hydroelectric power. As you can see, the Roslyn Dam is particularly impressive because it offers beautiful views of the surrounding countryside. And the dam has a maximum height of 150 meters and a length of 804 meters. It's 3 meters wide at its crest and 22 meters wide at its base. Constructing such a large dam while preserving and even beautifying so much of the nature is truly an amazing achievement. And now let's move on to a dam that has even appeared in movies. Contra Dam, Switzerland. This dam is perhaps one of the most famous dams for its epic appearance in the opening scene of the 1995 James Bond movie, Goldeneye. Even, the dam owners started to lease access to the dam soon after Goldeneye was released to a commercial bungee jump operator. According to the operator, over 10,000 people have jumped the 220 meter from the dam. Contestants bungee jumped off the dam as a roadblock task in the first episode of the 14th season of The Amazing Race, the fifth episode of the 33rd season. The climax scene of the Indian Bollywood movie Doom 3 was shot at this dam. What a famous dam. What about the technical specifications? Contra Dam is a slender concrete arc dam standing at a height of 722 feet with a crest length of 1,247 feet. Because of the dam's slender design, the volume of concrete required to construct it was reduced, which consequently cut down the cost of construction. The dam's base is 292 feet in width and gradually tapers up to 723 feet at the crest. 
Two spillways were incorporated at each side of the structure, which was a maximum discharge capacity of 1,300 cubic meters per second. Apart from this technical information, do you think I need to say again and again that the dam is in harmony with nature? That's perfect. If you're aware, we've talked about dams in America and Europe so far. Well, don't Asian countries invest in dams? Of course they do. Three Gorges Dam, China. Known as the world's largest hydropower dam, the Three Gorges Dam stretches out 1.4 miles to span and impound the Yangtze River in the Hubei province of China. Capable of producing 87 terawatts of electricity per annum, the hydropower dam uses 32 by 700 megawatt and 2 by 50 megawatt Francis turbines. Also, its structural profile is designed with the large base width of 377 feet. It tapers to 131 feet at the crest. That's ridiculous. Even though the main structure of the dam was completed in 2006, it wasn't producing electricity until July 4, 2012. Apart from producing a large amount of electricity, the dam also enables a heavier shipping capacity on the Yangtze River and protects millions of people from flooding who live in lower areas. It's great, huh? Well, let's continue with another Asian country then. The Parbella Dam in Pakistan. Considered the largest earth-filled dam in the world, this huge dam was completed in 1976 and was designed to utilize water from the Indus River for irrigation, flood control, and the generation of hydroelectric power by storing flows during the monsoon period and subsequently releasing stored water during the low flow period in winter. In order to properly divert the Indus River, the dam's construction had to be done in three stages, where large tunnels were constructed to act as diversion channels. The dam's main wall was built with earths and rock fill that spans 9,000 feet from the island to the right-hand side of the river. Apart from that, the World Bank and International Bank of Reconstruction and Development also helped Pakistan economically for this dam. Which is good. It's a very beautiful and frankly very large dam, right? Yep. Well, how about we go back to where we started. Ladies and gentlemen, we are flying to America with Future Structure Channel, the Grand Coley Dam. The Great Dam is located on the Columbia River west of Spokane, Washington, and is listed by the American Society of Civil Engineers as one of the seven civil engineering wonders of the U.S. And it was the same. The dam was constructed to provide hydroelectric power and irrigation. The 550-foot-tall dam contains over 12 million cubic yards of concrete, which is enough to build a highway all the way from Miami, Florida to Seattle, Washington, and stretches 5,223 feet. That's just 57 feet shy of a mile. Isn't it truly fascinating? The construction of the Grand Coulee Dam took place between 1933 and 1942 and provided jobs to thousands of men during the Great Depression. And the Grand Coulee provided the immense electrical power needed to manufacture aluminum for the production of World War II planes and ships. And continuing in its warlike vein, it also powered the production of plutonium at a secret lab on nearby Hanford site. Plutonium, of course, turned out to be the key ingredient of the atomic bomb. But unfortunately, the rest is history. But today, the Grand Coulee is used to irrigate about 670,000 acres of farmland used for growing grains, fruits, vegetables, and wine grapes, as well as livestock grazing. And that's great news. Dams are important, guys, because it provides drinking, utility, and industrial water to people. It provides irrigation water, provides fishing and recreation opportunities, provides hydroelectric energy, and provides water control in rivers. Dams also protect people from flood hazards. Well, apart from all these, if, as you can see in our video, dams also reveal beautiful images. Dams reveal their beauty as well as their importance. And, well, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something new about the world's largest and most beautiful dams, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that bell icon for future notifications. Peace and love, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.